this leads me to the next question about labor. What's your opinion on the current situation with labor? Well, I mean, I'm for labor. I'm pro labor. I mean, my running mate in 1995 was Jerry Hammond, the best best friend labor ever had in the state of Kentucky. Uh, he forced Toyota over here in the construction of their plant to use 10 million union hours of labor in the construction of that plant. The first and only time Toyota's ever used union labor. Uh, you know, and I've stood on more picket lines than there are letters in my name. I think the strength of the union mirrors the strength of the individual in this in this country. When individuals are weak and individual rights are weak, unions are weak because they're simply a collection of those individuals. And I think that, that both individual human beings and unions ought to lockstep arm in arm to present the strongest case for human beings in the face of the corporatism uh, that we possibly can. And there is no doubt about it. A corporation is supposed to be fascist. That's what it is. The only thing that matters to a corporation is a corporate bottom line. Human beings, unless they're out, they got a mission of, of helping human beings, corporations have only one function, and that's create a profit and just money to their shareholders. So when, uh, when uh, labor comes along, they have the face of the human beings. They, they're the ones who make the argument for the human beings in that process. Because the individuals are, are pretty powerless to go against the large corporations. But labor, that is the collection of human beings that uh, give you know, heart and soul to that uh, corporation, uh, they, they should have the right to band together and, and seek their mutual benefit. I absolutely agree with that. Yeah. But, but on the other hand, the threat of unions keeps a lot of other uh, corporations in, in, in check, too. Yes. You, you know, uh, I mean, uh, 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 Toyota, for instance. I realize Toyota has a resistant union labor and, and, and all that. At the same time, uh, you know, while it is a, a ball busting job, at the same time, it pays pretty good money. And the reason it is not unionized is because the workers over there feel like they're getting a, a decent enough break to where they, you know, they're willing to put up with whatever they're putting up with right now, rather than go union. If you could advise those employees over there that uh, been working in that plant for 20 years now, what would your suggestion be to them uh, in regarding uh, the union and why we need to work together as one? Well, you know, I, I don't know, and I generally favor unions because I feel like that they're going to get the best deal for the individual, you know. They might not. I, I don't know. I, I know that Toyota is a, is a prime example of having been able to resist unions, not only because through certain management techniques and discouraging unions to begin with, but they must be paying their workers enough money, you know, or they're not going to go on strike. I mean, they're not going to quit working for them because of it. So I, I, I can't tell the person what to do. Generally, I favor unions. On the other hand, if uh, if they're being paid well enough and being treated well enough, everybody's got complaints about the job. Nobody likes being worked hard, you know, and, and all. But at the same time, uh, you know, it is a it's a dog eat dog world out there, and uh, you know, it's a twelve or fourteen or fifteen dollar an hour job, you know, it's a pretty valuable thing to have, and uh, it's way ahead of the game for a lot of folks. So uh, you know, if they're willing to put up with hard labor and you know whatever management style they might not like. I, I, I can't go in there and say, hey, it, it's a much better world out there. You can do it a lot better. I don't know what the hell they can do a lot better. Exactly. Exactly.